Everybody, welcome back to the Outlaw 923 YouTube channel. I'm John, and I'm with a group of friends right now. We're going to run picket wire, canyon lands, and go see some dinosaur footprints, petroglyphs, and old ruins of some old dwellings from the 1800s. Uh, we're looking forward to this. It's going to be a long day. It starts at 8 o'clock in the morning and goes until about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And so we're just gathering the group together now and going to hit the trail, and I'll get as much footage as I can. Thanks again for joining us. No, sir, I have nothing to give away. No, we have no money. No, <laughs> you can't uh, get a God damn, that's a little bitty This camera. is what I'm going to be dealing with all day, guys. <laughs> that's a little bitty guy. <laughs> to Picket Wire Canyonlands. Uh, we're going to go see some dinosaur tracks. We're going to see some petroglyphs and some old dwelling ruins. Our tour guide, his name is Lim. Uh, this gentleman is incredibly knowledgeable of the area, the history, the geology, archaeology, history, everything. We have 14 rigs with us right now. And uh, here it might get a little dusty, which is normal, unless it's raining, of course. But I'm looking forward to this. I think this is going to be a lot of fun and educational today. So hopefully I can bring you some good footage and we'll have a good time out here in, in, uh, outside of La Junta, Colorado, which is part of the southeastern portion of the state. It's going to get pretty hot today, I think upper 80s, maybe hit 90, especially down in the canyon. So it's... Uh, Let's go have some fun. Everything we're going to go to after this will be pretty much Jurassic. Interestingly enough, nobody really studied these tracks for quite a while after that. It wasn't until 1985. I mean, yeah, I mean, these have been positively identified in 1938 and all the way to 1985 before Martin Lockley brought a group of volunteers and paleontologists down here and they studied the tracks, these and those on the south side of the river. Most of his studies were across the river. In 2014, 
we had a flood event of about 10,000 cubic feet per second in this river. Wow. It came up over here and it exposed some tracks that are right behind you under the dirt that you can't see now because they're back covered up again. Mother Nature doing its on off thing. I'm getting one though. I'm learning how to fly it. Yeah. 